El Estepario Siberiano. He's about to tear up another song. This is going to be beautiful. It is Linkin Park Numb. Now, we've all heard this song before. It comes on the radio all the time, still to this day. And I'm sure it was like a gateway for a lot of us to get into metal. Linkin Park was definitely my gateway. Um, I went from Linkin Park to Slipknot. Presto, you know what I mean? And then metal, uh, fell in love with metal forever. Anyways, let's get into this and see LS Depario tear this up. Damn, that snare sounds good. I'm sorry to pause it. I just love that he's going back and forth between that stack and the uh, the chicking of the hi hat. You know, his left foot and his right hand are essentially in sync together, or like you know, well, more so back and forth with each other. And then he's adding that little stick hit on the rim um, and the floor tom with just his left hand. And then his kick is doing everything. You know what I'm saying? Like God, his limb independence is just insane. I'm gonna go back just a little bit. And yeah, that snare sounds. Amazing. That is such a crazy beat. Tell me that wasn't the most beautiful double bass run ever. Oh my god, that was so beautiful. That's a really short song, by the way. But man, that was just awesome. Uh, I got chills when that double bass part hit, man. I just love that he's, he's getting so... I don't know how to describe it. Like, the way he writes his, his covers are in his style, but they're not at all destroying the songs. As a matter of fact, I think they're really improving a lot of parts of the songs. Uh, they're very tasteful, you know what I mean? Like, some some people say he overplays a lot. In my opinion, he just, he just really amps up the song, man. He really improves what the original version was. And that's really hard to say because the original is the gold standard, right? You don't want to fuck with the original it's it's what made the band everything they were it was the it was the original we're just gonna say that and um he's able to take it 
but not destroy it. You know what I mean? You know, a lot of people would cover a song and they would keep it close to the original, but add in little little things here and there, um, do little drum fills that uh, would show off, but it wouldn't quite improve the song. It wouldn't improve the part that they're playing that particular drum fill on. But the way he does it, he completely revamps every beat, uh, modifies them to the point where they sound like they should have actually been in the song in the original, uh, the original song that we heard. And it's just so cool that he can do that. He's gotten so good at doing covers tastefully while also being extremely impressive and not overplaying. I, I don't think he overplays at all. I think he does exactly uh, what the drummer would do if they had his abilities to do it. But anyways, you know, that that's that's L.S. Depario, man. He is, uh, he is one of the greatest drummers I've ever witnessed. And uh, that goes for any genre, uh, any level of drummers. He is, he's just amazing. And I love watching all his videos. If, if a video drops of his, we're gonna react to it because I just know it's going to be epic. It's going to be really good. God, I, I can't say, I can't praise this guy enough. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I have a playlist of reactions to LS Depario. So if you have not seen those, they should be popping up right here. Go check that out. You're just going to be blown away by everything you see. Thank you for watching. I will see you on those videos.